Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a repeating pattern on a stamp. So then when you print your stamp, all of those edges are going to line up perfectly and it'll make one repeating pattern. For the beginning of this project, all you are going to need is um, some paper. I'm using tracing paper and my square is just three inches by three inches. So pretty small, but you can make it whatever size you want. I would recommend not having it be too big and a ruler, and just a pencil and pen. I also have a little box cutter, and if you don't have that, you can just use scissors. So I have my three inch by three inch square, and how we're gonna start is just by numbering each corner. So on this top left corner, I'm gonna do a one, and then on the top right, I'm gonna do two, and then bottom left is going to be three, and bottom right is going to be four. And now uh, we're just going to draw our design, and we're going to kind of try to stay away from the left and right edges. But you can draw whatever you want. I'm going to just do like some squiggles. So that's fine to start. And then grab your pen, make it a little darker so you're able to see. I'm gonna make some parts of it a little thicker. So it's really just kind of in the middle it, um, you kind of want to try to stay away from your edges. Just don't get super close to the side. You know, don't go off the edge, but you really just start drawing in the middle of your paper. So now what we're going to do is grab our ruler. So I'm going to flip it over this way because we're going to want to draw a line um, horizontally and cut it horizontally. So here's what we'll do. I'm going to mark one and a half inches on that side. Flip it over again and mark one and a half inches. Then I'm going to line my ruler up, and if you have scissors, you can just draw a line and then cut. But I have my box cutter, so I'm just going to cut right down the middle. All right. So there's our numbers. We have one, two, three, and four and we've cut it right down the side. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip these. So now three and four are on the top and one and two are on the bottom. This part is optional, but I'm going to tape them together just so it's a little easier to draw. So now what we're gonna wanna do is fill in this middle part. So go ahead and add your drawing to the middle. I'm going to continue just my squiggle. So now, just like before, we are going to flip this around and I'm going to mark the halfway point on this side. That's, wait, not that way. This way. So you'll be able to see this is our cut from before, so we've already cut it that way. Now we're going to be cutting it this way. So you want it to be right down the middle. So we'll mark one and a half inches and one and a half 
half inches. Put our ruler right against both of those marks that we made. And swing nice down the middle. All right. So it's three, four, and one, and two, because we still have them numbered. So now we are going to switch it like this. So now it'll be four, two, and three, and one. So four, three, two, one. So I'm just gonna flip them around and tape those backs again. Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna fill in this middle part. That has all that empty space. Let's fill that in. And I'm not gonna go, you never really wanna go off the page. So we're gonna stay away from the very top and very bottom. Voila. Okay, so now I still have some um, empty space on the top and bottom. And that looks a little funky, so I'm going to take off my tape now. And if you are worried about ripping your paper, then you can just recut those lines. Or you know you never even have to tape to begin with, but it just helps for when you're drawing. So if you ever draw over your numbers, then just write those back in. So right now we are at four, three, this is two, and this is one. Because now we're going to want to rearrange. So I'm gonna put two up here and four down here. So I'm gonna switch those. Notice how they match right there. And then, uh, so two, four, we're gonna switch these two. Two, one, four, and three. So now there's just one little middle section for us to fill in, just right there. That looks pretty good. So two, one, four, and three. Now we're going to put it back to how it was in the beginning. So one will go here, two will go here, three will go there, and four will go there. So one, two, three, and four. And that looks good. All right, so there's our final design. Now we're gonna to wanna to tape it together for sure. So if you haven't been taping this whole time, then uh, now's the time to tape. So I like to do it just by flipping it backwards. But make sure that it all lines up before you tape it together. So now that we have our design, um, you're going to want to transfer it to uh, our lino block. So I just grabbed a piece of paper and I'm going to cover it with graphite. This is just a graphite pencil. And that's what I'll use to transfer the design. So cut this transfer paper to be 3 by 3 inches or the same size as your design which will also be the same size as your carving block. And go ahead and place that face down. And then we're going to put our design right on top. Voila. Now you're gonna to wanna to get a pen, something with like a hard ball point. And you're just gonna draw right on top of your design. You wanna make sure that you're pressing really hard 
so it will transfer. So let's just do that with the whole design. We're going to transfer the whole thing onto our block. Double check that it all looks good. And you're good to go. Now we're going to um, go over all of this with Sharpie. Now it's time to carve.